Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to put on these false lashes at home, yeah. Hello everybody, so. Alright, so. Hello everybody, so in today's video, I'm going to be doing something that could potentially go terribly wrong. So, I don't know if you all have um, noticed, but a lot of YouTubers these days get their lashes done and they look really good and make them look really nice and pretty. But, you know, not all of us have like 60 plus dollars to just fork out every two weeks to get them done, like touched up and all that stuff. So, I did some research and I found this um, individual lash starter kit from Ardell. It was about like $12. I got it at a beauty supply store, so it's a little more expensive, but I heard you can get it at $9 in some places. And it comes with glue remover, uh, tweezers, and then it comes with the lashes. So what I'm going to be attempting today is my own lash extensions. And I thought, what better than to film it, just in case it goes horribly wrong, then I'll have something to laugh at. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get started. So I've heard, I watched a few videos about this. Um, I have some Q-tips. You have to have like no makeup on your eye at all um, in order to do this. So I'm gonna try to like get as close as I can to y'all so y'all can see like I have nothing on my eyelashes. Okay, you're supposed to like brush them up. Oh. I also have this really cute pimple. Oh, mom. That really makes me feel like <laughs> every day for school, I only really wear mascara. So if I could just have these lashes on, that would be a big clutch. And to do this, to do a more close up, because I'm using my phone to record this, so I'm not going to look into my screen for my lashes. I'm going to use this um, Jeffree Star compact my friend Abby gave me. Abby, if you're watching this, love you. It's the only compact mirror I could find that's like kind of like close up, you see? This is real ratchet filming right now, but it's fine. I just finished straightening my hair for the past like two hours, so that's what I've been doing this whole morning. I painted my nails too, like we're really having a girly pop fun time. This is the lash adhesive, it's a little clear bottle. We have lash remover, we don't need that today. And then it comes with these handy dandy tweezers, look how sharp the tip is. Yes, queen, yes, got a little sniff of it. Those, and then, it has all of the extensions, so it has the long ones, medium, and then short. So I don't know how how much of like a tutorial I want this to be, because like it's probably common sense to do them. But I just want to record this and see what happens. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So one of the YouTubers I watched, she um she just like opens the lid to this and just dips the lash in there, like the end of it, and just puts it on like that. I think I'm gonna do. Wow, my eyebrows look rough. Um. This eye for maybe this eye. All right, I'm about to look like a crackhead, but don't judge me. I just straightened it so I can't put it in anything tight, otherwise, it's gonna just like look crusty. Oh my god, that looks gonna look stupid. I'm just gonna go take one of these long ones right here that I have little tweezers. Let's see if I can like get it on camera. I have done individual lashes before. One of my friends um, for prom last year, she um, had me do individual lashes on her, and it looked really good. Um, So I'm gonna grab it like this, you can't see that, but here's the tip of it, it's right there. And I'm gonna dip that into the adhesive and then just pop it on. This, hopefully this goes well. I can't even open the lid. What the heck? Back, I washed my hands and I'm gonna try to open this again. Not like a dingus. Can I use my mouth, is that like bad? Oh, I got it, twisty. Have the adhesive, I'm gonna tilt it a little bit. And then I'm just gonna dip her in there. This is like scary, what if I mess up? I'm gonna look down, and then I'm just gonna... Pop it right there. And there we have it. I watched, on the videos I watched, it said to not put it directly on your lash line, but just a little bit above it. So that way you don't take out your actual lashes when you take these off. And even if you do put it on your lash line, you'll be fine, because if you're just gentle with the remover, like, you'll be fine. But that's what I got from my research, so I just wanted to pass on that information. I'll probably do like like another long one maybe. You know, these are pretty, pretty big. Hmm, wow. It's not bad, it's not terrible. I wish I had a decent camera so I could like show you what's actually happening right now, but unfortunately I do not. I'm just gonna keep adding them and maybe like fast forward it. And then, actually, no, I'll just turn the camera off so I don't have to go through like 20 minutes of footage. But you basically get the idea after this, you know, just a little bit. All right, I think I'm gonna 
go with the medium ones in the middle now. Honestly, this isn't really too hard. It's just like getting the hang of it. I can see why people would just like fork out the money to just go have somebody else do it for them because it's kind of a process, but it'll be fine. I'm gonna definitely have to brush them out because they're a little bit long, but I really am kind of satisfied so far with how it's looking. You can't see on camera at all. So you're probably like, what is this crackhead talking about? But y'all, cause I don't want them to be like too obviously fake lashes. Like obviously it's gonna be like, since his lashes did not grow like that over the weekend, but like, I just wanna not have to put mascara on every day. So you probably can't tell, but I'm about to go on with the small, the short ones now. It's been about like eight minutes since I last filmed. I want to put on a couple more, but I definitely am going to put more like layers of this. It's just my base coat is kind of finally forming now, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm just going to take the little short black ones. I would definitely recommend if you like have never done like, if, if you like, you probably should like. <laughs> Why can I speak English? Master putting on like false lashes before you try to do this just because it can be a little overwhelming because they're so small to work with. My Apple Watch is dying, but I'm not going to charge it because that would mean I have to distract from this. I think I'm going to go back and do another layer of the lashes and then I'll come back on camera and tell you all how I feel about it. It's been like <clears throat> 20 minutes and I think I'm pretty satisfied with this eye. Now it probably looks like crackhead weird right now because Oh, one of them just came out. So basically one of them, I got glue in like the whole entire lash. So the glue dried and it's like, there's like a white spot in the middle of them, like right here-ish, if you can kind of see. So I mean, they're not looking super cute, but honestly, for my first time putting on lashes by myself, I'd say we're doing pretty well so far. I think with lashes, you just have to really learn how to like manipulate the lash to where you can put it on, like in the best way possible, if that makes any sense. Like it's all about like, moving them around and seeing where they look best at, that kind of thing. Yeah, definitely need to give yourself plenty of time to do this and just be really calm and just relaxed. I look like crazy on camera, but like in person it's really not that extreme. I'm gonna let these dry and I'm just gonna do the other eye and then I'll come back at the end. Just for reference, I think I kind of wish I would have bought like backup lashes because I only did one eye and this is how many I used. Wait, can you see it? Like I already used almost all the middle ones. I used a lot of the short ones and I used a couple of the long ones too. Like I definitely have enough for another eye, but like when I need to do a refill, I think I'll definitely need to get like some more backup. And I think the backup refills are only like four or five dollars. So you know, overall, a sister bargain. Overall, we're looking good right now. I don't really know if I want this to be more of like a talky video or if I want it to just be more of like a tutorial kind of thing. Even though I'm not really doing a good job with the tutorial thing. Cause I don't think this is gonna end up being like a failure failure. So it might not be as funny as I was hoping for originally. But um, yeah. It's actually going pretty great so far. Hopefully I don't jinx it, but. My nose ring is also twisted out. Cute. I didn't take a before picture. Well, that's how, oh my God, my hairs are starting to frizz up because I'm freaking sweating because I'm nervous about this. This is great. Good photo brush. Also, it's like really humid outside. Why just put the whole entire lash in lash glue? This is why I can't talk and do this at the same time. Do, 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 do. I'm going way too fast to be in there, I'm just saying. That's the tea. Aw, oh, man. I don't even know where that thing just went. I ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're- Twenty minutes later. All right, guys. So I finished putting on the lash extension. I pretty much ended up using a lot of them, but overall, I'm pretty satisfied. I feel really extra right now because I went from looking like a crackhead to actually looking like decent. 
It's like, let me have like two more. All right, everybody, this is the finished um, results. They probably look a little crusty, but um, overall, I'm kind of really satisfied with how they look because I like how I can do it myself. So that way, if like I don't want them super thick or like if I want them thinner or want less or more, I can just add it myself, you know what I'm saying? And then if like they start to fall out, I have some extras left over and then I still have the glue and everything to do it myself. So, I mean, overall, I'm pretty, pretty pleased with how it looks. Um, so my, my nose ring is out. Why is it always out all the time? That's so annoying. But I think that concludes this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you put a thumbs up. Hopefully I edit it funny because I really didn't talk because I was really trying to focus and like finesse my eyelashes. But um, yeah, shout out to Sally Beauty. Um, shout out to Obama. Love you, miss you. Um, and yeah, that's the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.